Yo YouTube, what's going on today guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, I am about halfway done with my last AR to get a diamond, so I now have a very good feel on which ARs are the best in the game and what's being used competitively and basically everything AR so far. That's basically the only thing I've gone. I have one gold SMG and that's the MP5 because it was broken at the beginning and I was like, let's just get it done with quickly because I know eventually I'm going to do that. But, ARs guys. I'm going to rank them top five right now. There's only five of them. Let's jump into it super quickly here. If this is interesting to do, make sure you do subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment below what you guys think of my list. I want to know what you guys think. I know there is some debate with a couple of these, so let's jump on into it. Alrighty, guys. So I'm not going to show you guys any gameplay for these guns today. We're just going to kind of jump into it super fast. I know gameplay is useful for, th for these, but I do have gameplays and classes all over my channel. So if you guys do want to watch some gameplay for each one of these guns, I have every gun on there except for the M4 currently, but that's going to go on later tonight or tomorrow, 100%. So, let's jump on into it, guys. Top five guns right now. So, coming in at number five today, guys, I am actually going to put the FFAR1 there. So, as you see, I already have this gold. It was absolutely busted on release. That and the MP5 are the two best guns in the game. And since it got a nerf and currently... What I have seen, I don't have a ton of testing post nerf because I did get it gold and as my diamond goal is to get or and as my goal is to get diamond on ARs, I just haven't gone back to it yet. And what I've heard is very bad, though. It's not even competitive anymore. It's not what you're supposed to be using. It definitely is in the bottom two ARs, 100 percent. So you could rank it four or five, but I want to put it at five here because Sounded like it got gutted pretty bad for what it was really good at. So, and I'm gonna give you guys just a quick breakdown for classes as well during these. So, I have the Microfex LED with the Agency Suppressor, with the Reinforced Heavy, with the Soft Target Designator, the Field Agent Grip, the 34 round Speed Mag. 34 is plenty in this gun. It feels like the Jungle Grip. I put on all the ARs, and then I hit the Raider Stock on this one. It just seemed like the best one for me personally. Other than that, that's about it. It's coming in at number five today. Let's go on to number four. So coming in at number four today, guys, I'm going to put the XM4. The M4 is a classic gun in Call of Duty, but in this game, it just doesn't feel accurate enough. I think it's going to get a buff eventually, and I did just get it to the point where like, it's level 30, as you can see here. It's the only one I don't have diamond yet, and I was really excited to use it. But so far, it's been very bad for me, and I have not loved it. I thought I was going to love this gun, and so far... Not so much, guys. It's a little bit too inaccurate. If you're if you're hitting your shots, it's very good. But a lot of times, the bullet spray just doesn't feel consistent compared to the other ones. And that's why I have it in at number four. And so far on this uh, M4, I have the mill stop reflex with the infantry, comp infantry compensator. Alrighty, so so far for this one, I have the mill stop reflex with the compensator with the reinforced heavy barrel. The soft target as in there, which I really enjoyed the reveal distance. If you don't know what reveal distance is, it's when they're, the red is basically showing up on their uh, above their head. And that really does help you locate people, especially on like maps like Cartel, where there's a stupid bushes in the way. So definitely recommend. We have the regular foregrip with the 40 round speed mag, the field tape. And I have the wire stock on it currently, but I imagine I'm either going to put the Raider pad on it or something. I always aim for the quickest sprint to fire speed with the stock. So coming in at number three, guys, I thought this gun was going to be terrible. It looks ugly. The gold camo does not look good, but man, the QBZ is actually super, super viable, guys. It is a gun that has just done great things for me. It's a very light feeling machine gun where you can really rip it around and it does a great job. As an assault rifle, it does great range and honestly, one of the fastest time to kills, but the fire rate is very fast. So if you're not hitting your shots, there's not a lot that you can do with it. Say hello to my dog. He's sticking his head out the window right now. That's Toby. Um, but legitimately guys this gun is super underrated and it even could place higher on this list but i'm just leaving it at, at number three right now because there's not a lot of proof in the pudding yet we need to see it more in competitive games haven't seen it at all yet so alrighty, guys the build i'm running with the qbz is the microflex led with the socom eliminator the 16.5 ranger the soft target designator the field aging grip the 40 round speed mag 
the SRSR jungle grip, my favorite like I was talking about because of the flinch resistance and the quick quarter, the CQB pad, which is the close combat, close combat, close quarters combat pad. <laughs> Jesus. But 30% sprint to fire speed. Like I said, that's what I'm using for all my stocks. So let's go on to number two. Alrighty guys, so coming in at number two today, I'm gonna have the Krieg 6. So I'm putting this one so high on the list because in competitive play, I see this gun being an absolute laser. It's gonna be able to hold down points so well. It is probably the best AR once you are down sights with this gun. So if you're running around trying to run and gun AR, this is not for you. But if you're holding points down, holding locations, man, this gun is a laser. And I'm pretty sure it's the only gun in Call of Duty history I've ever used that kills faster from distance than up close. It's so weird. I swear sometimes from like literally across the map, it'll kill people in like three bullets. And then I'm up close with people and it kills them in like six bullets. So strange. But this gun is an absolute laser beam. The class loadout is going to be the microflex led with the socom eliminator the 19.75 or 7 ranger the soft as soft target designator the field agent grip the 40 round speed mag if you guys haven't noticed i love the speed mag and i love the jungle grips then the sas combat stock another one that is there to help you aim down sight quicker and that's why it comes in at number two guys and then coming in at number one today, guys, is the AK-47, a classic gun to Call of Duty. Has never really been a top tier gun in any Call of Duty before, which I'm very happy it is in this one because, let's be honest, the AK doesn't get enough love. It's a very worldwide used gun, and man, this thing is an absolute beast. So for me, I ran the Hawksmoor with it, with the Spesnet Compensator, with the VDF Reinforced Barrel, the KGB Target Designator, the Foregrip, the 40 round speed mag, the Spesnet field grip, and the no stock for the quicker fire sprint speed. But guys, this gun just does it all right now. You can run and gun with it. You can aim down sights with it if you need to. It's just that overall AR that just feels the best. It has the quickest kill time. Everyone's using it in competitive right now, which I do think it may end up getting a nerf, but I really don't think it's OP. So I'm interested to see only downside of it sometimes it feels like hit reg feels a little weird with the first one or two bullets so i wonder if that is a bug or if that's just how they have the gun built so but that is why it comes in at number one guys it is a absolute great gun and that's why it comes in at number one I appreciate anyone that did hang out with me and watch this top five gun video today, guys. Let me know if you guys want to see gameplay in the future or if there is any guns that you guys think may have been ranked incorrectly. I think this is my personal list as someone that is about to get diamond ARs. And yeah, I think I have enough. I'm level 100. I've seen what other people are using. I watch competitive Call of Duty and this seems like the consistency throughout the community at the moment. If you guys think otherwise, let me know down in the comments for sure. I appreciate y'all. Have a wonderful rest of your day and peace out.